Well, rising temperatures are making people antsy to uh, float the Boise River. But the Boise Fire Department dive team says the river is still too dangerous to mess with right now. Scott Logan joins us live from along the river with more. Well, the river is running fast, it's running high, and it is very cold. That's a dangerous combination. And just take a look at the snags and debris that can still be found in the river. For people who love to float the Boise River, this is sort of the summer version of waiting for Bogus Basin to open. But the Boise River is not a resort that ever closes, and floating or swimming in the river right now is simply dangerous. But on a hot day when it's 100, you definitely want to get in it. But not right now. No, it's a little, it's a little scary right now, but it does look refreshing. The river is running at 3,000 cubic feet per second. Typical summer floating flows are 1,000 cubic feet per second. And with the river temperatures in the 50s, plunging in would probably give you hypothermia in seconds, says Paul Roberts, head of the Boise Fire Department's dive team. That cold water can affect you uh, very rapidly, unexpectedly, and you would lose your ability to keep yourself afloat. And that goes for pets too, by the way. On top of that, there's still a lot of debris in that river that hasn't been mitigated. And uh, we're just fearful that if people get in that water, get in the river prematurely this season, uh, it could be disastrous. The dive team is waiting for the river to come down to about 1,000 cubic feet per second before they go in and start clearing out the snags and the strainers. But you know, the perfect conditions, the right conditions for safe floating on our crown jewel always happen every summer. Live in Boise, Scott Logan, KBY2 News.